It has become a familiar pattern in the United States. A mass shooting claims the lives of innocent victims and communities make a simple request of their elected officials. Do something. Please do something. Do something to prevent the tragedies. But enacting truly significant gun control measures in the deeply divided U.S. Congress has been almost impossible. Now, the White House is creating an Office of Gun Violence Prevention. Vice President Kamala Harris will lead the effort. With this new office, we will use the full power of the federal government to strengthen the coalition of survivors and advocates and students and teachers and elected leaders to save lives and fight for the right of all people to be safe from fear. The office will try to pass gun laws at the federal, state, and local level, coordinate resources for gun violence victims, and find actions the president can take without congressional approval. But it won't be easy. Courts have found that the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution allows individuals to own guns, and efforts to limit those rights are often struck down by courts. In recent days, a federal court in California struck down a ban on high-capacity gun magazines, and a federal judge in New Mexico halted a ban on openly carrying guns in and around Albuquerque, the state's largest city. How does taking law-abiding citizens off the street with their firearms uh, prevent gun violence. 96% um, of the time when a gun stops a crime, it's never fired, okay? It is, it is a huge deterrent. The White House is attempting to walk a fine line. It's a false choice to suggest. You either have to choose between supporting the Second Amendment or passing reasonable gun safety laws. That's a false choice. President Biden and I believe in the Second Amendment, but we also know common sense solutions are at hand. But finding those solutions and putting them into action will likely prove politically difficult. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.